this all about. New beginnings at Bankwest tonight. A first Wanderers home game in charge for John Paul de Marini. And a first time in the Jets' technical zone for Carl Robinson. Football's magic fix. The new coach is about to get another airing. There is Carl Robinson, who's signed a three-and-a-half-year deal with the Jets after five years in Canada with the Vancouver Whitecaps. He's got uh, Kenny Miller alongside him tonight. Not technically his assistant, Robbie, but his technical director. Well, that still makes him a technical assistant. Technically, I guess. Here's Kamau, who's burned away from Burns. Oh, was there contact there? Yes! Says Sean Evans. Penalty awarded. Bobby Burns lent into Bruce Kamau, committed the infringement. Not too many complaints in front of the red and black block. Ready to go. Duke against Italiano. Straight down the middle, no problem. All rise for the Duke of Parramatta. Are we going to have the splits by the corner flag? Yes, we are. <laughs> well, you've got to have confidence in your agility to do that, but uh, no question. Straight down the middle from Mitchell Duke. Kept his composure. It's not like he can blame the conditions, Robbie. He'll be used to uh, this sort of weather. Simon Cox. Family with West Brom and Nottingham Forest and Reading. One or two more clubs besides. 30 caps for the Irish national team. Oh, he would have scored a bag full of goals in these conditions. Italiano risky, and it's pounced upon by Spiegler. Here's Muller on the right, and Mitch Duke off the post for the Wanderers. That close to doubling their advantage. Let's see if he can turn provider from the corner kick. Oh, and it bounced up, and did it hit the arm? Volley back in by Jugakovic, and Lopar called into action again from long range, and they continue that conversation about the handball. They were very static. Does it just glance off the arm of uh, Dylan McGowan? Trans again. And Miller again. Can he find a bit across this time? Down goes Petrantos and Bobby Burns off the frame of the goal again. And Daniel Lopar took two bites part. to get a hold of the ball. Actually hit in the target, yeah. but he came back off the crossbar. Is there a foul there by Spiegler on uh, Petratos? Burns on his right boot, and Lopar can only watch it crash against the crossbar. Great work from Matthew Miller. He got the ball, Spiegler, yeah. didn't he? It's been a game that's had uh, moments of good quality, Robbie, but you just sense there's a touch of nervousness about both teams at the moment. Newcastle desperate to get back on terms, but equally not to concede a second, and the Wanderers just this uh, slender advantage, here's Petratos, Miller, chance here for Matthew Miller! 1-1, and it's Miller time at back west for the Jets, really good finish, and Daniel Lopar beaten at his near post. So we tick over into the fifth minute of stoppage time, all about uh, how much Sean Evans wants to add on now. And the answer is not much. And you can hear by the booze in the background that the Wanderers fans are not happy. They got an early advantage thanks to Mitch Duke's penalty after the foul on Bruce Kamau. They were really good for half an hour. But after that, the Jets really took control, equalised through Matthew Miller. Daniel Lopar beaten at his near post. And in the end, they possibly should have won the game. It's not the result either particularly wanted. It finished all square here in Parramatta. Western Sydney Wanderers won, Newcastle Jets won.